Hi everyone, I'm Chantal from 4Yoga. Today I'm sharing with you three ways we can do side planks. The first one is from downward dog, going to full plank, and then turning to the side. For some people that may not have the ability to support and stabilize their shoulder, this could be too much of a challenge and perhaps not even safe. Also, people that have wrist issues, full plank with a deep flexion in the wrist here can actually be uh, creating more harm than benefit. So again, this sequence from downward dog, I move slowly to full plank, I turn to the side, the legs are active and strong, we feel the left side of the body here, specifically the obliques, really working to support the posture, and then slowly going back to full plank and moving to downward dog. A second option which is a little bit easier for the wrist, would be lying on your side, forearm plank, where elbow is right, position under the shoulder, legs are straight on top of each other, and as we inhale, we lift the hips, extend the arm above, and then exhale, slowly release down. So as we inhale, we feel the left side of the body really activating the obliques, and as you exhale, we release everything down. So a very good option here, again, for people that may have serious wrist issues. My favorite option, and the final one for today, is lying on your side, where your head is supported by your bottom arm, your bottom leg is bent, and your top leg is straight. Top arm is wrapping around your head, but you're not pulling on the head. You're using the muscles on the sides of the body to lift everything. So as you inhale, imagine your armpit going towards your hip, hip going to armpit, and then as you exhale, you relax completely. This way, there's no pressure on shoulder, no pressure on wrist. Remember, breathe deeply, move slowly, and enjoy. If your goal is to build strength in the obliques, I hope that the three options showed today will help you do that. Thanks for joining. If you want to feel better, live better, and play better, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.